Hey guys and welcome back. It took me so long to set up the camera for this video because I just could not get a good spot. Sun was shining in, it was too bright in my living room and yeah it was just a whole ordeal but I'm here. I'm going to share with you guys all of the books that I have read in April, May, and June. I try to do a video like this at the end of every quarter so this is the second quarter. April, May, and June, I'm gonna talk you guys through and show you each of the books that I read. I actually read quite a few. My goal is normally two books a month, but as you can see, I read a whole bunch more than two, which is really good for me. I think I was just spending a lot of time reading and not doing much else. Hope you enjoy this video. I haven't done a book video on my channel in a while. I'm very excited to talk about books again. I think I should do an updated like book list since I knocked a whole bunch off of books off my list recently. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and let's just go ahead and get started. I also have my vodka soda because it's Wednesday, 7 p.m. and I just put some of my mint leaves in it, but yeah, it's vodka soda time. So these aren't in the order that I read them because I, they fell and I mixed all the books up. So I'm just gonna go from top to bottom. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm wearing my new sweater that I designed and created. You guys can't see the bottom. But um, yeah, I think I talked about it in a recent video. I've started crocheting my own sweaters, crocheting and knitting, and this is one of my latest and I really love it. It's so fun to wear. It just reminds me of raspberries. So anyway, just wanted to, uh, plug that. So one of the books I read was actually a play. It is Twelfth Night by obviously Shakespeare. All of these books by the way I've talked about in my monthly favorites because I always go through all of the books that I've read recently in my monthly favorites. If you watch my monthly favorites this is going to be very repetitive but I like to do like a dedicated book video once a quarter so that's what's happening today. Anyway this is Twelfth Night. It is a play by Shakespeare. It's one of his comedies. It's one of his best comedies in my opinion. It's hilarious. I love it. I have seen it on stage a bunch of times and I've read it before but way back in high school so it was fun to reread it again if you like Shakespeare. Um, even if you don't like Shakespeare but you want to start reading him I'd, rec I'd recommend Twelfth Night. It's not too hard to read and it's really entertaining and I just the story is so good. You could also just watch She's the Man and it's almost the same thing. I also read One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. This is actually what we read in our virtual book club. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest was the last book we read. It is pretty heavy, it's pretty dark and serious, but it's also told in kind of like a comedic way. It's kind of hard genre to describe. It's somewhat dramatic, somewhat funny, and it's just an interesting story that ends up being a lot sadder and it's a little bit tricky to process actually when you read it. It is really good. I'm really glad I read it and I really want to watch the movie now uh, with Jack Nicholson because the book was so good that I want to see how the movie compares. I definitely recommend it. It's not too hard to read. By the way, this is by Ken Kesey. I also read Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse Five, which was another pretty heavy book, but it was really, really good. It's much shorter. I guess it's classified as sci-fi, but to me it wasn't really sci-fi. Like I felt like it was more about mental illness and like PTSD and recovering from World War II. Kurt Vonnegut is actually, he was actually in World War II so he's kind of speaking from experience which I thought was interesting. It's about uh, an American soldier who survives Dresden, like the fire bombings in Dresden, and basically the PTSD that he goes through after the fire bombing. It is really good. Um, it's kind of more of a challenging read. I felt like it was a little bit more challenging than One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest even though it's much shorter. It was just kind of bizarre, I guess is the best way to describe it. But again, definitely recommend it. In one of my other book clubs, not my virtual book club with you guys, but one of my other book clubs, uh, we read Pachinko by Min Jin Lee and this was so good. This is probably one of my favorites that I read this quarter. It was such a good book. I just love books that span over generations and take you through the lives of people like from start to finish basically. I love those types of like epic tales. This one takes you through about four generations. It's a Korean family that moves to Japan and their experience growing up in Japan during like the World War II. It's really sad. I cried so much in this book. There was just one part that just got me and 
I thought I was doing pretty good, like I hadn't cried up until this one part and then I just couldn't take it anymore. It's just a lot of tragedy. Um, it is heartwarming at times as well, but I think because it's so tragic and realistic as well, like what was happening in, in Japan at the time and kind of the discrimination against Koreans that were growing up in Japan and just the experience that they had, it's very realistic and it was really a traumatizing time for a lot of the people that were there. It's also really sad, like the women in this book go through so much and it's really hard to kind of relate to it because it's just so different from like we're so privileged here like growing up well like for me growing up in Canada it, we're so privileged compared to what the women went through in this book. It is good though I would totally recommend you read it. It's so long but it's a very smooth read and it didn't take me long at all. I think I finished it in like a week. A while back I read like in April I guess I read The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Victor Hugo. Again another like very sad. I read so many downers this quarter. Like all the books I read are sad. I don't think I read one like funny book. Oh wait, Twelfth Night. I read Twelfth Night and that's hilarious. But this one is another really sad book. It's very tragic. It's not like the Disney movie at all. It's The characters are the same. Well, they're slightly different, but their names are the same. I never actually knew the real story. Well, I think I've seen a movie once like way back and it was like in black and white, but I didn't, wasn't too familiar with the true story and it kind of ruined my opinion of Phoebus because I really love Phoebus and Esmeralda as a couple like they're my favorite Disney couple and then when I read this book and now I'm like Ugh, It's kind of tainted that it took me a little bit longer to get through this I, I think I'm just not a fan of Victor Hugo's style as much his storytelling is great It's just a lot of description and a lot of like architectural description, which was interesting it makes me kind of not want to read Les Mis even though I really love the story of Les Mis I've seen the mu it's my favorite musical. I've seen it so many times, but I don't know if I can do it because I just found his like chapters of description were just so much. It wasn't like hard to read, I just didn't find it interesting, I guess. But for the story, Hunchback is really good. Okay, another one from April. I think this was April. This is where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens or Delia Owens. I can never remember how to pronounce it. Um, I read this in both my book clubs, actually. I'm in three book clubs now, by the way. I have one with like my family, one with my sister and her fiance, and then my virtual book club with you guys. But this is one that I read in two of those clubs and I just didn't like this book as much as I thought. I think it got hyped up for me a bit too much. And then when I read it, I was just slightly disappointed. It definitely wasn't my favorite. And I also don't feel like I'm gonna read it again, which kind of sucks because I bought it and it wasn't very cheap. It was nothing special to me and it didn't make me, I don't know, you know how when you read some books and they change your life, and I mean not all books have to change your life, but when a book really touches you you could just feel it and it's like one of those books that every time you open it then you just get that that same like kind of warm fuzzy feeling even if it's a sad book it just like you know it's that feeling you get from a really good book i didn't get that at all with this book there was some things about it that i liked and then some things that i just didn't but overall i didn't think it was it's not one of my favorite reads we're almost done i read the heart is a lonely hunter by carson mccullers another like really sad book this book was just odd i think the whole way through i was kind of thrown off i didn't know what to expect when i read this one i hadn't heard much about it i've honestly had not really heard of it before i picked it up the ending just threw threw me off like what happens at the end. I don't want to spoil it but like what happens to one of the main characters Mr. Singer at the end of the book just like I don't know it threw the whole book off for me. The characters in it are really good it basically follows the lives of five different individuals. It takes you through I think a year in each of their lives and it's a year that is a changing point in all of their lives. It's all the same year but that year all five of their lives changed drastically and you really only get that snippet of their life like you get the one year that's all you know you don't get a backstory you don't get a glimpse to their future like you just get that snapshot year and how it changes all of them and it's interesting like it was a really good book it was an easy read it was just the story was um it was just like very very sad and it covers a lot of really heavy topics like racism in the south and just it just covers a lot of dark hard to read topics but it was good i did enjoy reading it the testaments by margaret atwood this is her sequel to 
The Handmaid's Tale. I actually preferred The Handmaid's Tale at first when I started The Testaments. I enjoyed it more. I thought it was way more exciting. There was lots of stuff happening and I was so into it. And then about two thirds, like when there was a third of the book left, that's when it changed and I didn't enjoy the last third of the book as much. The ending felt very rushed. It didn't seem that like realistic and I just felt like The Handmaid's Tale was better developed and even though it maybe was more of like a slow burn compared to this one where there was like stuff happening all the time, I think I preferred The Handmaid's Tale. Just it felt more, I don't know, it felt more developed and thought out whereas this one it just felt more like a movie. It was still good, like if you read The Handmaid's Tale and you kind of want to know more about that world and kind of what happens after The Handmaid's Tale, definitely read The Testaments. And the last book that I read this quarter is The Stranger by Albert Camus, which is another one that we are reading in our virtual book club. I'm so excited to talk about it. It's, it's such a short book, but there's just so much in this book. Like it was an insane read. Oh, it's like getting so bright in here at the sun. I can't really tell what I'm doing with the exposure on my camera, but hopefully when the sun comes in, it's a little bit better and it's not so bright and white, whited out, but it is really good. I've only read The Plague by Albert Camus and I think I like The Stranger more. It was just more interesting and I, I really wish I had taken a course in university and had heard a prof talk about this book because I feel like there is so much to it and it's such a small book but it's just packed with stuff like I don't even know what kind of stuff but it's just packed with stuff it really like dives into the morals of humans like right from wrong but also like life from death and it's just very interesting and I feel like it's going to be a really good discussion for the book club I'm really excited to hear what everyone else thinks I'm just like blown away by this book and I can't really describe the feeling I just feel like I need to read it again digest it a bit more and then kind of hear or listen to other people and hear what they think about it. This book was so interesting and it was really impactful for such a short little novel. Anyway, those are all the books that I read this quarter. Let me know what you guys have read recently, if you have any book recommendations for me. Like I said, I think I'm going to redo my book list. I've checked off maybe like all of the books on that list except for three of them, which I'll probably get done in July, honestly. So I'm about ready to start another book list, which hopefully I will film. I have a lot of books on my shelf that I have not read because I had a, like a lot of book hauls this year and I got tons of books for Christmas. So I'm a little bit behind on my new reads, but definitely let me know if you have any suggestions, any good books that you've read recently that you think I'd like. Thank you as always for watching. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.